hello guys welcome back again i am mj in this video i'll show you how to use zoho writer step by step this is the best free alternative for ms word okay so open any browser okay these are online zoho is online tool so open any browser open the google in the google just type zoho writer and open this first link and here click on get started you need to type your email address or password or simply you can sign in with your google id so i'm going to sign in with the google so click on google and then select your id type the password and after this you need to give the your phone number okay so type your phone number here and then click i agree and then click on create account after you click the create account you will get the otp on your mobile number so just you need to type that otp and your account will be activated and that's it your account has been created now let's see how to use a zoho writer i like ms word so just click on this app section here and scroll down uh, you will see the zoho writer or just writer here just open it Now click on create new and select the blank document. So first thing we need to give the file name. So here you can give the file name like I will give the Zoho or writer. You can give anyone writer. Okay. Now your file will be save and ready. Before you're going to type anything, we need to do the paste setup. Okay. So here click on three line and then go to the paste setup and here select your layout and here I'm going to select the A4 you can select legal A3 landscape or A4 okay so I'm going to select A4 and the orientation will be portrait and there's a single column and margin so this is the default margin like top bottom left right is one one inch if you want any customized margin then click on customize margin and here you can adjust the margin like this look at that yeah okay and header footer uh, if you want you can change the header footer or keep it default and if you want any advanced space setup just click on the advanced space setup and then click on document level page setup and from here you can select the uh, page size height and width column single column and this is the margin you can select your margin here border if you want you can make the border okay and next is formatting so now you can start typing so now i am going to type or copy paste some text from the word document and i am pasting here by pressing ctrl v okay so text is so is an example text okay so after this here you can see here is a heading if you want to change it uh, just go to the format here and from here you can change your heading like this look at that yeah and the fonts if you want you can change the font from here like this font size and you can make bold italic underline and these are superscript subscripts yeah and these are paragraph setting like uh, left alignment center alignment right alignment or justify okay and after this line spacing so here you can see i have given the double line spacing if you want to change it so just click on this line spacing you can select 1.2 1 or double line spacing like this and if you have any text like that contain the uh, some bullets or numbering so from here you can change it look at it here is a bullet section given you can give like this it's very easy to use and its user interface is very easy look at that you can move the text to left to left to right right to left and here is the border and shading okay and now insert and now images if you want to insert the image from your computer just click on image and upload and select your image and upload it if you want to upload all an image then click on insert url and here just paste the your url and your image will be inserted okay simple and table yeah now come to the table so here select the number of column and row like this and click ok so your number of column will be inserted look at that yeah so you can work easily on the table 
so in the table uh, you can insert the column and row like this if you want to split the table you can split it here you will get the all option about the table and you can also adjust the your row height or you can select the auto it's very simple in the insert we got the symbols so from here you can add the symbol equations and charts yeah you can easily create the charts from here and videos if you want to link any video youtube video here you can just copy the link of video and your video will be shared here these are very easy to use feature given on the zoho writer a barcode you can create the barcode qr code and other things here and next is header footer sometime we need to type the header footer so here just click on the header and select the uh, position of the header where you want to insert like this left right bottom top or wherever and type your footer or header like this and that's it yeah it's very simple look at that and then fields here you can uh, add the date and the most important thing is page number so click on the page number and click on the insert page number and select the header or footer where you want to insert the page number i want to insert on the center so here is showing my page number on the center if you want you can change the font size of your uh, page number like this you can choose anyone i will take 10 yeah okay what's next in the field page count it simply count the page if you want you can simply count the page one of four or one of five like this one of four just click on here and select the page it will show the your page number okay and document version okay okay next is design in the design uh, you can select the uh, your writer design uh, I is better to keep it default and here you can set the uh, view design so select the my design here and here are and here is the some custom design if you want you can select this custom design and next is pay setup pay setup i have already shown how to make it pay setup and next is view so here you can select the web view or page view okay and tools in the tools you will get the view all pages document navigation and focus on typing uh, transactions all these things okay and here is the automate from here you can merge your template so basically i have shown some start and basic way to work on your right in my next video i will show you how to use the shortcut key in zoho and other future and function so this is the basic and start video to work on the zoho writer so if you got any confusion or if if i miss anything here you can ask me in comments and i will try to reply okay so catch you next time until that take care bye bye see you and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much guys.